everyone. Happy Tuesday morning to you all. Welcome, YouTube. Um, I don't know who we have here yet because I don't have you pulled up, but if you're new to the channel, we are so happy that you found us. And uh, my name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. And Miss Rachel Langston is also with us. She is an owner and craft educator here as well. And today we are going to make a fun paper project and because we have had lots of requests for it we're using our Cricut Joy. So this is really exciting. Um, this is what we're making today. How cute is this? We are using Oak and Lamb files. We'll download these and I'll show you how to pull them all in and all that fun stuff in just a second. We have an entire collection that is specifically for this type of banner and I'm sure you can tell it, it's put together instead of cutting out letters individually and like taping or gluing to a piece of yarn or string or something it has this system and we use brads to put it together which makes it super flexible and you can like do it at fun angles with different curves and do all that stuff. Do you know how inspiring this is? Like Are I can inspired, think of a Rachel? thousand different occasions yes. that you could pop this pop your cricket out and make this in like 10 minutes super easy uh, i'm so excited and we'll look in a second we the the collection has all of the letters and the numbers but it also has i can't remember like 30 ish little graphics like this so a reindeer a christmas tree a snowflake um in all of the major holidays thanksgiving valentine's day uh fourth of july are represented there but i also have graphics for things like birthdays baby showers wedding showers uh, anniversaries She's graduation random just hearts stars things like that um, a megaphone for a sporting event football basketball so uh, all of these different things and because they're super easy if you um, are into creating your own cut files at all you could easily take this little guy slice off the bottom and add your own thing if that sort of thing is something that you're interested in um, or and you'd have no clue at all how to do it we do have an illustrator course that you all can purchase that teach you how to make your own cut files. So check that out. If you have any questions about it, let me know. It is on sale for $150. It's $50 off. Uh, and we have lots of students who have joined and are doing wonderful things with that course, uh, creating their own cut files, manipulating files. And so many people who have started and thought that it would be too difficult for them to do, but they're like, oh my gosh, this is really easy. I can do this. I feel, um, I, I, feel I feel empowered and educated in all of those things to do this. So check that out if that's something you're interested in. Um, and guys, we're gonna get some questions. We've already gotten one. You can use most certainly your bigger machines for I was this. actually getting ready to just yes. cover that. Um, so there is nothing that a Cricut Joy can do that an Explore series or maker series machine cannot do um we get requests for cricut joy stuff all the time and I, I i understand that people want to create projects with their cricut joy because they've purchased it and they want to kind of um validate the purchase it, i'm trying to i'm trying to tread on this delicately um <laughs> Just, there's basically no point in having a cricut joy I yes. have a Cricut Joy because I think it's yes. cute and it's fun. There's no point in having one. And I think a lot of times the challenge with being a Cricut Joy owner is trying to figure out projects that you will use for it because the cutting area is so minimal. However, you can take this project and we are going to make it this size. Look how I could Die. Right. You could make this. You couldn't make this size with it because these are six inches, and the the longest width that you can cut is four and a half inches. Um, so I'm going to make mine two and a half inches for this cute little guy right here, and we are going to use the Cricut Joy just because we've had so many requests for it. So um, if if you are asking yourself what can I make with my Cricut Joy, think small. You can make basically anything with your Cricut Joy that you can make with the Explore and, and Maker, m m with, with cardstock, vinyls, things like that, that the Cricut Joy will cut. But you just need to think on a smaller scale. Um, so cards, make cards, but they're gonna have to be smaller. Make vinyl decals for shirts, like 
pockets or like the bottom of the hoodie that would be, you know, short and longer. Just think small, but that's what we're doing today. I'm going to tell you the Cricut Joy is not the machine that I would choose for this because it's going to take a while to cut it all out, which I'm fine with because I love being with you all. However, if I were doing this particular project on an explorer or maker, I would probably put these in different sections on my mat and cut pieces of cardstock. So I would cut like, I don't know what this is, three by three inch in inches of cardstock, put a red one here, a green one here, a blue one here, a yellow one here like this, and then place the letters on my mat with all those different colors so that I'm only loading the mat one or two times instead of nine to 12 different times. That is a disadvantage of using your joy from the other ones. However, if that's not something that you do anyway, first of all, shame on you, not shame on you. You've probably not thought about it or feel a little bit overwhelmed, but it will cut your creating time drastically if you do that. And we can do that another video another day if you guys want help with how to do that. Um, but for today, we're going to cut our cardstock, place it on here and load it a million times. And I do have to mention, Miss Debbie is here, and she wanted hey, to Debbie. jump on the Illustrator course bandwagon. She said, I am experienced in Illustrator, but I have learned a ton from the course, and I'm only halfway through. That's amazing, Debbie! That's also, so I want to point this out. Kat messaged me last night. Um, she got on Adobe. She already had an active Adobe subscription, um, and it was for Creative Cloud. I think Kat, it, Kat's here, right? Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, Kat. You were paying 50 something dollars for Creative Cloud. You messaged them, told them that you were going to downgrade because of the price increase. They went back and forth and they're doing some sort of like fun enrollment period where you basically kind of name your price, but don't. Anyway, she got hers down to like $29.99 per month. So okay. there are discounts. There's Black Friday discounts on Adobe Illustrator right now. If you're interested in purchasing Illustrator um, and the course and jumping in now is a fantastic time to do it. One, because we have a discount on our or our uh, course, $50 off. Two, because Illustrator is even more affordable or, or is more affordable now than it ever has been. So um, did you have anything? Um, only Beth. Beth gets gold star for an incredible video idea. Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, she said we should do a live or a video on time-saving cricket techniques. Like you talking about putting, I love that. I love, I love that, that title that. too. Write it down. Write, Did you write it down? Write it down. Write Time it down. saving cricket <laughs> techniques. I love that. Yes. That's amazing, Beth. Gold star, Beth. Gold star for you. That's why we keep you around. That's, Actually, that's we beg you reason. to stay. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if there's nothing else about that... There is a promo right now for new members, Jen. I didn't even mention it. Thank you for mentioning it. Look, I don't even need to do my job because no, they do don't. it for me. It's done. Our, I, I text Rachel this morning. I was like, Rachel, do you want to go ahead and offer our Black Friday deal this yeah. week? She was like, yes. So I made a graphic. <laughs> I don't know. That was perfect. I don't know where it is. It's only, it's I made perfect. a graphic. The membership, our Black Friday deal is $45 off, which is other than founding flock members, the best deal that you will ever get on our membership. So use the code jingle, J-I-N-G-L-E for $40 off the annual membership. Now, the difference in this membership and all the other ones is that the automatic renewal every year will renew at this price. The same price. It's every not going to go up next year. It's not a one yeah. year discount code. You get it for every single year you stay with us. Yes. So what does that give you access to? If you are not an Oak and Lane member, you may not know. That gets you access to our website with our entire library of cut files that we are adding to all the time. It gets you free commercial use license with those cut files so that you can legally sell products with it. It gets you access to our member only Facebook group and member only live slash content. Um, and anything else that we are throwing out, hint, there's going to be something on Black Friday that will be included in membership. Um, and yep. you'll be getting that as yep. well. So join now. Let us know if you have any questions. Can't wait. If you join during this live, let me know. We want to give you a shout out. I'm going to be checking. So you all yes. go ahead and grab it today at the very first yes. day of the sale. It's a great day to start yes. uh, getting crafty with us just in time to decorate your house for Christmas and make some Christmas DIY um, gifts for everyone. Uh, Patrice, I love this. 
She said, I can tell that Becca's spunk factor is up now that the side is working. It really does make a difference when you have a fully functioning and Phaedra is making changes to it all the time to make your user experience even better. So we're really excited about that and, and being able to partner with her, yes. uh, total godsend. But anyway, and Micah had a question. Let's hear it, Micah. Um, also guys, once again, if you ask a question and I happen to miss it, copying and pasting is the best way to get it yes. answered. Thank uh, you. Sifting through some might take me a little extra time. So I am sorry. Micah says is the illustrator course and the illustrator app two different, uh, services like does she have to pay for both wait what the, i'm sorry does I was she thinking. have to pay for illustrator and the course yes the yes. course is an oak and land product yeah um so you pay us for that illustrator software is a adobe product so you pay adobe for that but it is a tax write-off if you it have is a, a tax write-off yes yeah. um thank you kate i'm so glad it worked out so well okay let's go to the website um, and we are going to download these files really quick. And I want to show you if you are already a member, just log in, come right here. If you're not a member, go ahead and hit that link. Use the code jingle for $45 off. And then you can grab these immediately. Yes, Rachel. Miss Alicia is a monthly member and she wants to upgrade. How can she do that? That's a great question. Alicia, if you want to, the easiest way is going to be to go in and cancel your monthly membership. Um, and then go ahead. Actually, you know what? Don't even do that. Go ahead and just purchase the annual membership. Shoot me an email that you want to cancel the monthly and I'll cancel the monthly for you. I won't even make you go in and do it. <laughs> <laughs> easier for you. Yes. Easier for you. Um, anyway, so here on the website, we are going to go to our little search bar. You can also go to cut files and search there. Um, but we're going to type in custom banner. And we've tagged these. I posted a file the other day on the website. Rachel, I couldn't screenshot the entire list of tags that I put on it. I meant oh to share it with you. Gosh. Yes, but anyway, we try to make it super easy for you all to find files here. These are all the files that go with this fun banner. You can see here we have the graphics all in one file. We have the numbers all in one file and we have the letters all in one file. The letters also include the ampersand. Um, in addition to these numbers, I also created one that says ST, one that says ND, RD, oh, and I TH so oh, that yeah. it's like first birthday, second birthday or something like that. That's so smart. Um, so I did these, I, I chatted with Kat a little bit. I always like to get her feedback because she's honest with me and I love it. Um, what the easiest way to make these available to you all would be whether I needed to do them all individually or as a collection like this. So we decided a collection was best. So what you're going to want to do is just click on this guy right here. We are going to be use some, using some of these graphics. We're going to press download now. This comes up, we'll press download here. And then you can see all of our files. Whoops, ah, there's Anna. All of our files right here for the graphics come up. So that's awesome. You have that on your computer, save it forever, keep it, whatever you want to do. While I'm here on this page, let me go back here and I'm going to go ahead and download the number or letters, excuse me. Download now. Download. And then all of my letters are right here. Now, the easiest way to import these is to open up Design Space, press New Project. Should I make my mouse a little bigger for you all? Sorry, I should have done that beforehand. Maybe I should just like man up and leave it that way all the time. <laughs> Renee says if you buy now using the Black Friday price, do you still get any Black Friday additions there may be? Renee, absolutely. If yeah. you mean like additions to our membership, 100% yeah, yes. Yeah, we're going to be adding a Cricut course on Black Friday. Just to give you a spoiler, we're going to be yeah. adding a Cricut course on Black Friday. And Completely that will be, free to members. Yes, automatically free to all members. Yeah. Like pre-existing founding flock members will get that. Every member monthly and yearly will get that. Yeah. So Okay, so you're going to go to Upload Image. And then straight from these download boxes here, we're going to import the files that we need. Now I already have some in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Uh, we're gonna do B Mary. So let's grab the B and pull it in here. Upload, upload image. 
drag and drop. I love to drag and drop, Me especially too. when I'm doing several Me like too. this. It's my favorite. Upload image. Then we're going to drag in M. And we already have the E because we downloaded it from B. So we don't have to do that one again. So upload, we'll grab our R, pull it in. And for those of you who have Illustrator training or Inkscape or something like this, you could easily grab all of these. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give you a little freebie right here. Grab them all. In fact, this is what I would do. Pull them all into Illustrator. You don't even have to sort them out. It doesn't matter. But then you can save this as an SVG. Alphabet. That's spelled wrong and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And then you can import this entire file. As one. As one. So you're oh. not having to do it all individually. There we go. Oh, Becca, you, you got a smart head on them shoulders. Right. Look at that. You can do that with the numbers. You can do that with the graphics. It's going to take a little bit to load because there's so many, but it's really not. Look, now all of them are here now. Done. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Okay. So ungroup, delete what you don't want, all that fun stuff. But let's pretend like you don't have Illustrator because a lot of you don't. We'll go back over here. Um, grab our Y. There we go. And then we're going to also come up and grab our little graphics that we're using, which are right here. So let's use the Christmas tree because I think it is super stinking cute. I love the I love you and ASL. Thank I love that you. one. That could be applicable to so many different it things. It sure could. I love it. So import that here. And then we're going to do the reindeer as well. Reindeer, where should she be? Where, oh, there she is. He, she. Did you notice on the phone my mom was giving inanimate objects genders too? Now you see where I get mm -hmm. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was talking sure. about the ice machine being a he and he needed a new yeah. hose or something. I get it from her. <laughs> so for those who do not know, maybe you're new to Cricut. We're hoping that we're having new Cricuters here. Um, this is how you add more than one file at one time. You're just going to click them. So I want this one and this one. I'm not holding in shift. I'm not holding in anything special. I'm just clicking these files one time with my mouse or trackpad. I'm gonna press add to canvas and all of these will go on my canvas. Uh, Christina says, if I upload a PNG into Inkscape, I cannot change the colors on it still, correct? Correct, you cannot. PNGs are pixel based and they do not change in color in the same way that vector based images do. However, if you wanted to do an image trace and convert the PNG from a PNG to SVG, then you could do that and you could change the colors. Great question. Pauline said, guess whose joy is still in the box a year later? Pauline, get it out and make this or give it away as a Christmas gift. <gasps> yeah. Um, okay, so one way that I, did my reindeer not come in? Did I not click it? I'll click it here. Um, there we go. One way, you can size all of these really quickly um, by just selecting one and changing the height. We're going to make the height 2.5 inches. So you can do that all individually, or you can select all of them, align them... I'm going to line them at the top and then I'm going to align them uh, horizontally. And then I am going to make, hold on, this might be a problem. I'll do this one in a second. I'm going to select all of these and then make the height 2.5 inches of this entire thing right here. And what that's going to do is size all of these pieces to the exact same size. That's why I centered them. If I okay. hadn't done that, then it would yeah. have, yeah. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is look at the width of this one, which is 3.397, and then make this one 3.397. The reason I couldn't add the reindeer to that was because the reindeer was taller and it would make the reindeer 2.5 inches and the other things a little bit smaller. So that's why I did it that way. 
Now I want to place these in the order that I'll be using them. E, E, and then this guy will go right here, and then M, E. And Rachel, I learned something new. Tell me. You know how I'm always like, you can duplicate by right-clicking to press duplicate. You can duplicate by pressing this over here. You can press Command C, Command V. There's another hotkey I just found out about and did not know. Tell me. Command D is duplicate. Ooh. No copy paste, straight up Command D. Duplicate. Duplicates. I love it. Right. Didn't know. The only reason that I actually found out is because I hovered over right here and see the little, I can't move my mouse yes. to show you all, but the yes. command D were up right next to duplicate. Love Those it. are hotkeys um, that are used here in Illustrator or not Illustrator. Some of the same, some of the same hotkeys are in Illustrator as Design Space. Okay. Which is handy. So let's duplicate that. Command D. Put this over here and then I'm going to duplicate this because I want to use it again. Now I need to change the colors of these. Now, if you want all of them to be the exact same color, select all of them, come up here. Would it be control D on an HP? Command and control, I think so. Yes, yeah. I, I always, I can't ever remember if it's alt or control. I think it is control, yes. Okay, so select all of them, come up here and just change the color all together if you want all of them to be the same. If you want them to be separate, I just pressed undo, then we are going to just change the color. So I want this to be like a fun Christmassy green. So we'll change that. I want this to be blue. I want this to be purple. And I've already pulled my card stocks out is the only reason that I know what color I want these. Otherwise it would take me forever. Choosing color on things like this makes me crazy because well, I want it to be like spaced out nicely. Depending on what you, what color theme you like in your house too, it, this might be the easiest part to you. Right. Picking colors. Right. And then pink, we'll make this pink. We'll make this orange. And the reason I'm changing the colors here is because we are using so many different colors. I want to make sure that it shows up on my mat as the exact or really close to the color of the card stack that I'm going to be using so that I don't accidentally choose the wrong one to put on my mat. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make this one the same green as this. So now that I have all of this set up, I am ready to change my machine. If you have more than one machine, you're going to make sure that you have Cricut Joy selected and then we'll click make it. Now, if you are not already Bluetooth to your Joy, you can go ahead and do that. Um, ours is, I think I'm gonna check to make sure. Oh, I don't remember which one is which. Hopefully it automatically does it. Um, if you were not already connected to your joy, then you have one here. One of these is my home joy and one is the one here. Yeah, you, you guys probably won't have this problem. Right, yeah. yeah. And then um, the pin, the default pin is zero, 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 zero. Did I say that? It's four, four zeros. <laughs> um, and then we have that I'm gonna be cutting this on a mat. My mat that I'm using today is 4.5 by 6.5. So we'll press confirm. And then you can see we have cutesy little tiny oh, yeah. cuts. So let's press continue, connect to our machine. I don't know which one it is. Son of a gun. My uh, worst case, you just pick yeah, that one. Yeah, let's choose minutes. that one. If it doesn't connect, then I check. Oh, okay, it connected. And I'm going to browse all materials and grab my medium card stock setting because I will be using medium card stock today. Press done. And then I want to, before I do everything, I want to press remember material settings so that I'm not having to hit that medium card stock option for nine different <laughs> mats. You guys know I love you. Nine different mats. Okay, so we're gonna start with our orange. If you all have never noticed, it goes in order of color. So Roy oh, G. Biv. Yeah, Roy didn't G. Know Biv. That. Okay, so let's grab our orange cardstock. I think I threw it over here for another project. And then I'm going to go ahead and just cut some little, um, some, yep, squares that will be the right size here. 
We are a memory keeper board. It's my favorite board. You all know I love it. I'm going to cut four by four inch, which really, it really only needs to be four by three. So we'll, we'll do four by three. So four inches by three inches. And then I can go ahead and load this onto my Cricut Joy mat, which I did clean right before this. It looked like someone had stepped on our Cricut Joy mat, which it probably did. So I grabbed a baby wipe and cleaned it off really quickly. And then I'm gonna put this right in here, bray it down really good so it doesn't move on me. Pull this over here and I should be able to just load. There we go. And then you can't see it, but over on my um, computer, it says the joy is aligning your mat. And then um, we will head back over to my computer so that we can see the um, click go button. There's not a, a start or go button on the actual Cricut, so you have to hit it right here. So we'll go ahead and hit go. It's thinking and then it's gonna cut. While that's cutting, I'll go ahead and cut another piece of cardstock here. It looks like, I can do another four by three. Okay, so once it's done, then a screen pops up on your computer that says complete. You have to press unload, so you can press unload. And loads there. And then we'll remove our cardstock from our mat, just like this. Now, the cool thing I like about this file is that I made it to where it already has holes in it, so you don't have to go back in and cut those um, or add them with your uh, with design space or add them with a hole punch. Now, um, if these holes are too small for you, you can make them bigger with a hole punch if you wanted to. For instance, I'm gonna be using these mini brads today, these little bitty ones. If I didn't have those mini brads and I wanted to use these larger ones, these aren't, gonna, aren't going to go in as easily on these holes and I might want to grab a hole punch or something like that and make them a little bit bigger. So that um, is an option. Let me cut this really quick. Right, you can let me know if there are any questions or comments or anything fun to talk about. Well, Lou, you always pick the most fun colors for your Christmas projects. Oh yeah, I do. Um, if you guys, if you all were wanting um, Christmas green, I'm really sorry about it. Really sorry. Christmas green and red. Christmas green and red. I mean, I love Christmas green and red, but bright colors are my jam. There we go. Add I don't know if you answered Sherry's comment. I have not looked at comments. She said, would the joy allow you to cut two different colors of cardstock on the same mat? You could if you placed it like this. Like place the other one down here. And if you... And if it was sized. And if you made it the same color in design space. Yes, you have to make it... Yes. Yes. Correct. Great question. Okay, my next one is going to be... See, and the Cricut Joy takes a little bit longer to decide that it wants to cut. So that's also a slight disadvantage. I'm just laying it all out there for you. Um, it is fun to watch though, you know? It is. It's fun to watch that joy do this thing. I'm just gonna make all of them four by four. I feel like that's pretty safe. Unload. No button thing gets me. It does. I, I do hate having to go back over into design space. Now this, I will say, it is impressive because these tiny little antlers here are itty bitty and that cut really well. It didn't move on me. Um, one advantage is that this is a newer mat and I did just clean it. So the cardstock didn't move at all, um, which helps. Let's pull it up very gently there. Oh, that looks good. And then I'll grab this and clean it off. And we will go with our next color, which is this fun green color. 
load this in and then grab this color. Do we have any friends here who this is their first time with us? We love to shout out new I people. I want to know. We have one right now, Stacy. Hi guys, first time watching. <gasps> I'm in the UK, Scotland, and have been thinking about getting a joy, but not sure how it works. So this is per a perfect live for me so I can learn what's going on. We are so happy that you're here with us, Stacy. Ask any questions that you have about the joy. We also have other members here who are joy members. And so they can weigh in. Do you have another machine? I'm curious. We did a video um, last week. It was a live comparing crickets. Uh, and if you haven't seen it, watch that if you, if you don't have another machine. We do not recommend the Cricut Joy as your primary or first Cricut machine just because it can be pretty limiting and then that's discouraging. Um, so check out that video. If well, you already have one, then. Also, most people would get the joy not knowing any better. And then because of its limited ability, they find themselves just wanting a different machine and having to spend more money yeah. on a different machine. It's kind of like the thing when uh, people who don't really know if they're going to like sublimation or not, which everyone does, gets a small printer and automatically Regrets wishes they'd it. gotten a bigger printer. Yeah. You're just wasting more money in the long run to get what you want. Right. Or to get what you didn't know you wanted, but you needed. So that's what we're here to do is to make sure that you guys get what you need for sure. Anyway, yes, we're happy that you're here with us. Um, yeah, Patrice, I'm with you. She said, what time is it in Scotland? I would like to know that too. My um, husband's aunt and uncle are living in Scotland right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're missionaries there. Blue. Unload. I do. I just want to point out, we probably probably would be finished, but that's okay. Oh. I'm really, I really love being here with you all. So I don't mind too much. Okay, we have. Um, the green Christmas trees are going to be cut out of this and there's going to be two on it. So I made this piece a little bit larger. We'll cut out two. There we go. I do kind of like that it loads automatically. There's yeah. no load button. Like I'm, I'm trying to figure out why they wouldn't do that with the other machines. The other machines. Uh, Stacy said, I do not have any electronic machines at all, so okay. it's going to be my first time getting one, and that's why I'm finding it hard to pick which one is right. Yeah, and that's well, that's a gr uh, first of all, I want to commend you for researching, re yes, yeah. for researching. That is an incredibly smart thing for you to do, so kudos to you for taking mm -hmm. some time to research and look around and see what you want before just diving in and spending money. That's a great um, thing. I would go ahead, right? If you can't find the video, um, Stacy, then we can we can link it for you. Um, but we do have a live comparing them, price, functionality, um, our recommendation for your first machine. But everyone here in these comments, uh, I'm speaking for them, but I can pretty much guarantee they would all encourage you not to get a Joy as your primary or only or first machine. Um, for not too much more, you can go ahead and get like the Air 2. Yeah, which is a much less limiting machine. Right, right. No, no more difficult to learn either i don't want to say like the joy is easier no, to learn it's not. The, it's, if you learn how to use one cricket machine you'll be able to use them all yeah you have to learn the software spots. either way yes exactly i did link that for you miss stacy now it is a live like this one so there is some question answering chit chat and back and things forth, like yeah. that yeah. um so feel free to skim through that. We do have a lot of uh, pre-recorded videos that don't have that in it as well if you're interested but that particular one i linked for you is a live yeah I'm so glad she's here for this one. That's, this yeah. is such a great time for her to be here. Great yeah. little pop in, Stacy. How do I get the joy to stop destroying my vinyl when it cuts and sometimes cuts paper? Nanette. Uh, Are you braying your material, to your material down? Is your, is your blade, blade clean? Yeah. Is it fresh? Clean. Yeah. 
Great questions. Also, sometimes we think that Cricut Joy is tiny so we can make even smaller cuts. I don't suggest that you make any smaller cuts than you would with your maker or explore, meaning I don't wanna make quarter inch vinyl letters because that is just going to be miserable. Um, it sure would be. Yeah, oh wow, would it not be? Okay, and clean this off here. What do we have left? Purple. Then lavender or lilac, whatever <clears throat> color we're calling it. Everybody in the comments is recommending the Explore, uh, Explore Air 2 or the Maker. I love that no one's mentioning the Explore 3, but j probably just because it came out when the Maker 3 came out. Yeah. There's no real difference, just to let you know, either. Not a huge difference in the Air 2 and Explore 3. Or the Maker and the Maker 3. Really, like, what is it? You can cut matless. We never do that. You can cut an obnoxious amount of length. We've never even needed to do that. No, and I mentioned it um, on that live. Like, could you imagine placing a super, super long cut of vinyl? No. Oh, my word. That would just... It's too much for me. <laughs> Unload... Liz, Rachel, where is Liz? Did Liz make a comment? We have another Liz here, so I might have just skipped over it thinking it was the other Liz. Oh, here we go, here we go. Me, first live, subscribed a few weeks ago. I love your videos. <gasps> Kat, thank you so much for pointing yes, Miss Liz out. Yes, welcome. Hi, Liz. We have another Liz, or Lisa, and... Um, Thank you for subscribing Sorry. to the YouTube yeah. channel too. If, if you here. all are not subscribers, if you're watching right now or watching the replay and you're not a subscriber, please help us out by um, hitting the subscribe button on YouTube. It is free to do that yeah. and it helps us out. And um, Stacy said she wants a machine where she does not have to adjust her blade for the different depths. Stacy, you're in luck. You oh, don't yeah, have to cricket. do that with any of the yeah. crickets. Yeah. None of them, which is great. I would definitely recommend personally the Explore Air 2 if you can find them or the Explore 3. The I think that's a great The only reason that I would, like, it, it, I don't oh, know what you fabric. want to do. The, for, yeah, yeah. the only thing that would make me change from Explore 2 to a maker is if you want to cut fabric. Cut fabric. That's the only that rotary other thing. blade is probably yeah. what we use the most on the yes. maker. Yes. I mean, you have the knife blade that you can cut chipboard and stuff. For me personally, it just is that. It's a pain to, yeah. to use it. Well, it does really well with felt, too. It, it does. does really well yeah. with felt. Yeah. But if fabric and felt is, are something that you are just like, nah, I would never use that, then grab one of the Explore Series machines for sure. Mm, yeah. I don't know what the price difference is between the Explore 3 and the Maker 3, but if it's not substantial. I think it's around $100. Okay. It might be a little more than that. It's 4.10 p.m. in Scotland. Wow. Wow. 10. That's crazy. This is our last cut, and then we can put this together. So really not that long. I mean, lots of mats, but it really didn't take that long. And all these cut really well. There were no yucky pieces that... Pauline, so y'all too think I should upgrade from the Joy to the Air 2. Wait, Pauline, the, the Joy that's been in the box for years is the only one you have? What? If so, then yes. Pauline, yes, absolutely. Okay. Linda said cutting fabric is why she upgraded to the maker. Yes, yes. Linda, I love that. I always forget about that because I'm not the one doing it. But Becca, Becca's always great to point out if you like fabric or felt that the maker's the way to go. Okay, so I just like to go ahead and lay these all out here so that I can... Make sure that I'm putting them together correctly and that I didn't miss a mat. E, R, there we go, cute. And then we're just gonna use these little brads. These are in the scrapbook aisle at Hobby Lobby. I assume they are at like Joanne and Michael's, things like that. Um, and they have I have the, these at home that are mini. Like, the colors are really stinking cute now that I've dumped them everywhere. Uh, but, again, the holes are too small for this, so I'm going to use these little bitty mini ones. And we're going to go with it. Thank goodness I got my nails done yesterday because when I did this the first time, my nails were so long it was difficult to get them in there. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Michelle Mahoney just joined our amazing <gasps> Oak and Lamb 
membership. Michelle, you welcome. were the first one to join at our very best deal of the year. So thank you so much, Miss Michelle Mahoney. Yes. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You will be getting a welcome email shortly, but make sure that you join the private Facebook group if you're on Facebook so that you can get plugged in and get to know these lovely flock members, the best group of, of men, ladies and gentlemen around, honestly. I, uh, so many times throughout my day, I'm like, you know who would love this? This person. <laughs> yeah. You know who I should tell this thing? <laughs> like, it's so crazy how, um, through crafting, we have just become so close, close with some of these amazing people. Um, while I'm putting this together, oh, you can um, kind of see. I'm just laying this one on top of this one just so that it's uniform instead of like randomly having one on top of the other. That's just me. Um, whereas I, I, I love asymmetric type things, but this type of thing would drive me absolutely crazy open this up here. I was saying I did a um, video that will be coming out. It's an organic video for like, this is the first craft that you should make if you're a new, yeah. new cricketer. Yeah. And I make this project with it. Um, so you'll see something similar soon. But one thing that I say is that if you um, don't have brads in your craft room, you could use adhesive, uh, like a craft adhesive. Uh, or something like that to put this together. However, it's not going to be movable. But if you want it to be straight across or kind of know the angle that you want it to be curved, then you can uh, account for that when you're gluing it together. But just another thought. I just love how quick and easy these come together. I made... Me too. That's, that's what my biggest thing is. This would transform a whole wall at a party. Yeah. And it doesn't take very long to make it all. And you can make these super custom. Now, custom ones of these that people get on Etsy, they're expensive, Becca. Yes. They're expensive. Well, and one thing that I say, um, my sister-in-law actually got a set of letters like this from Amazon. Mm -hmm. It was like a stack of them where you get like four A's and four, you know, so that yes. you can make whatever you want. And I think, I think it was like 20 ish dollars for the set. So you could even sell these at craft fairs. I would make them out of some like nice, thick, good card stocks. Uh, you know, the pearlized card stocks that we love or even craft board. If you can find some good colors of craft board would be really good. Um, uh, Miss Paulina said, "I make stick. I made stickers for the first time and kept getting an error message when my machine was trying to read the registration marks. I had to use matte scotch tape over the marks. Any tips on how to avoid that?" Yeah, we have lots of tips actually. Um, a, a lot of our members have to always do that. Um, it has to do with the light in your machine, um, or but, the material that you're using, or the material if it's that you're a using, glossy yes. material or something like that. Um, a couple of things that you can think about are the uh, the light in your actual craft room. Is it too bright in there? Is it not bright enough? So maybe change the lighting a little bit uh, and see if that helps. Um, the material, if it's reflective, sometimes will give you an issue, and that's why you had to put the masking tape on it. You can also grab a, an eraser and dull the like top coat. Uh, so, for instance, if you're doing a glossy... Um, sticker then kind of dull over the registration marks so that it's not as reflective. Um, we don't have any machines that we have to do that to. In fact, we've never had a machine that we had to do that to. I think a lot of times it just has to do with the lighting. Yeah. Also, I, I do mention this. If you have like a, a makeup brush or something like that, you can get under your sensor and just dust it off a little bit. It might just be something stuck on your sensor, some glitter from paper or something like that too. Just clear that sensor out down there um that might help as well there we go finished look how cute i mean guys i linked you some the rainbow brads too I linked oh good those for you guys good yes so could you imagine like anna's doing a really fun christmas tree in her uh nursery for but it would be really cute to take this just like this this size and put it like in your tree rich don't you think like oh for, like putting oh, that sure. just like that like saying. around oh so sorry cute. i thought you were on me uh, this, put it right in your tree like that. Um, you could do like all white so that it stood out or all red, like red, uh, glitter cardstock would be really cute to do something like that. Um, but so many different fun ideas that you can do with these cut files. Um, 
So grab them, download them. If you're a member, if you're not a member, join and then grab them and download them. Um, let me know if you have any questions. The craft is finished. We are finished with this. If you have any specific joy questions, let me know. If you have any crafting questions, let me know. I'd love to answer those, especially for those of you who are just joining us for the first time. Maybe you have a craft related question that has nothing to do with this project. I would love to answer that for you. I'd love to answer any questions you have about the illustrator course, about our um, membership. Also wanna invite you We've talked about it a little bit to our Black Friday event. It's going to be next Friday. Is that the 25th? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Starting at 10 a.m. Eastern, it will probably about three hours, three to four hours. Um, I'm going to be doing a craft. Rach is going to be teaching you. Are we going to announce that? Yeah, sure. Some fun cupcake decorating techniques. Anna's going to be doing a craft. Um, and then we're just going to chill and have a fun black Friday with you all. So I'd love to invite you for that. Um, we are going to be pushing our black Friday sale that day, but we have opened it up early for you all who want to go ahead and join. Rachel has shared that link with you all and use the code jingle J I N G L E for 45 dollars off the annual membership, which is the best deal you will ever get on our annual membership. Um, anyway, I'm opening it up. What do you all want to talk about? Well, we'll stay in chat for a few minutes. We love to do this after our live. How, did, how big did you make those? And then I made them 2.5 inches tall. This is the smallest I've made them. Um, you can make them smaller than this. However, the hole that's pre-cut on it will need to be enlarged. Enlarged? Enlarged. 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 Wow. <laughs> enlarged, though. That's, you know. Enlarged. That's something. <laughs> Where did that come from? Anyway, um, so excited for the Black Friday party. Patrice, me too. It's going to uh, be so fun. Welcome to the flock. Do we have a new flock member, Katrina? They're welcoming. Did I, did I miss Katrina's comment? Let me see. Let me see. Katrina! Welcome to the flock, Katrina. So excited. They keep going to junk mail. Are they going still? Yes. Okay. Let me Because I'm watching it like a hawk. They are. Okay. Did you, was there another one in there? Because I only see one in here. Yeah, I already moved the other one. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, good. Anyway, I'll send, as soon as this is over, I'll send you all a welcome email with the link to the private Facebook already group. Already sent them. <laughs> Rachel, look at that. Join you the private Facebook it. group um, and start crafting with us. We, the private Facebook group is for, it's for community obviously because we're all about community here it's also for crafting we uh, like share your crafts share your crafts it doesn't matter if it's cricket related it doesn't matter if it's painting it doesn't matter if it's sidewalk chalk it doesn't matter <laughs> if it's decoupage or home decor we love anything creative and crafty if you have made it or put it together or designed it or something with your hands i want to see it it inspires me it inspires our members it gives us creative energy and opens our minds and makes, makes us think out of our creative box that we've put ourselves in a lot of times and so that's one benefit of our community is the creative push from other people without being pushy i love it so make sure you're sharing you like if you're sharing crafts you are not oversharing. let's no. just put it that way it's like our yeah. favorite part of the day to go in there and see yes. what you guys are yes. doing um, I'm stalking the page for ideas. Robin said, amazing. Oh, speaking of ideas, let me show you. Hold on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are so cute. I made, actually, I'm going to show you two things. I'll uh, go overhead. Okay. I made this cut file yesterday and then put these together for Beckett and Fallon's teachers. I'm going to give them, um, some of these for Christmas in, in a pack of some other stuff. I don't know, I haven't come up with it yet, but these are post-it note holders. So you put your little post-it notes in here and give these to your teacher. These are going to be an Oak and Lamb file that will be available next week for you all. So I cut these out on my Glowforge. If you all have a laser cutter, they're really easy to do that. If you have a maker and want to cut them out of chipboard, you can also do that. So. That's fine. Um, the file is adaptable too. Like if you had a business associate or something that loves post-its and is not a teacher, you could just not put this part on here and then put their name at the top or yeah. something like that. We've had a couple people say that 
browsing on the Facebook group is their favorite part of membership. Of the to day. be able to yeah. get inspired by other people's creativity that they drop there. So if you're a member and you're like, I don't think I should post that today, you could inspire another crafter by posting that. Yeah. Do it. Always. We love seeing it. Um, this is another file that I created and it is going to be on the website next week as well, but it is a little, look, it's a little dog bowl dish. Look how cute. Stand. Um. Sorry I didn't clean the dog bowl for you, Becca. There's like food residue. That's okay. <laughs> Anna's going to be making this with you all on Thursday. Um, she's going to be live. You all love Anna and she's coming. It's going to be a trip. I'm sure. Anyway. So there's just some creative fun. Have I done anything else, Rach? Have you done anything else? No. I'm trying to look at all of our fun stuff. That's all the fun stuff we have. That's okay. it. Everything else is boring. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, Micah wants to know if they'll be alive doing that project. This? Yeah. No. It, the, the thing is, whenever we do Glowforge projects... And we say this in the best ways. They're so quick. They're so quick. Painting was the longest part of that project. And I am not a good person to give you tips on painting. Because like <laughs> actually, actually, you know what? I might do a live on it. If I ordered these acrylic paint pens, and if it goes well, I might do a live just to show you all the acrylic paint pens, not specifically on this. Um, but, yeah, this, honestly, it cuts out in less than five minutes. You glue it together. You paint it. It's, it's not just like any other glow forge project yeah yeah and miss stacy our facebook page is, is private it is a member only perk we do have a public page it is oak and lamb you can find us super easy but the page that everybody is raving about that I, they absolutely adore that is a private facebook community for members only thanks i can for show asking, i can show though yeah we can show you guys and then katrina says question maker or maker three for chipboard type projects katrina they both they're will, the same they'll basically. work the same way with chipboard i have to say though chipboard is my least favorite thing to cut with cricket it is my least favorite i thing prefer to cut. chipboard over wood though for oh over like balsa bass 100 yeah. yeah wood in general i think i i don't love cutting with cricket it takes forever yeah but as far as maker versus maker three the only no difference, difference is really. if you want to use smart materials which we highly discourage you from doing just because they're they're so hard to work with they are. and they're super expensive yeah we never use them and we never are like man i really wish i could use a smart material yeah Good question, though, um, so if Katrina. if one is significantly cheaper than the other then grab the cheaper one mm -hmm. otherwise you're really i i personally have a maker at home and i have no desire to upgrade to a maker three at home um private facebook group here is our private facebook group you can see um and mine looks a little bit different than what yours will look like because i have all of this right here Ooh, we have a member request um we actually have several we have a fun thing. If you all have requested um, access to this and you're not a member, and you that's why you haven't been approved, because you're not a member. Um, not being ugly, it's just a, a, it's a perk. perk of membership. Yeah, it's a perk. Anyway, yours will look a little bit different than this because I'm an admin. But under right under here, we have featured posts. This is sort of like your dashboard of the private Facebook group. Any important announcement or information that you're going to need will be found right here. Um, actually, we can delete that because we don't really need it. Um, if I drop new cut files, I generally will post right here to kind of just remind you all. Um, if there are any special links or instructions, we have a fun, um, puzzle ball cut file and then here's some instructions for it um and let's see what else do we have here member only content if it's not alive then we'll post information there about it um printable things that we have for you all so that that's always under featured you can find it there and then we have oh cat with oh i haven't even seen this cat's making me jealous with the snow. Oh my she God. knows I love snow. Anna has posted this incredible nursery that she has created with all of these amazing projects. Um, but look how much inspiration we have here. This is an oak and lamb cut file. Um, she made these out of felt with her maker. She made some tags for these out of vinyl. She <clears throat> cut these pennants with her maker. Um, let me look what else she made here. She made this, which I don't even know if you can see, but it is a um, lampshade that she has used the squeegee paint method on. I need a closer up. That is so stinking cute. There it is. 
squeegee paint method that she taught, um, I guess the last time she was on. She made these fun felt pieces for these. Megan said that nursery is amazing. Adorable. I have to agree. She made this. This is an oak and lamb cut file. I cut this off of the Glowforge for her. She painted it. Um, these she cut. Like all of these different projects. This is the, this, the type of stuff. She made these curtains. Got this fabric from Hobby Lobby. So this is the kind of stuff we love to see. So cute. There's Granger. Love to see, yeah, Granger. Look at Granger. Um, in addition to that, let's see right here. We share links for specials on products that we love, that we've seen. We do have an Amazon storefront um, and love to link you all of our favorite things there, but sometimes they go even more on sale. And so members are on top of that and they love to share that. Um, but you can see, look at all of this inspiration. Share your kiddos with their projects. Share questions that you have. Um, share things that you have changed and done and just any type of inspiration. We love that here at Oak and Lamb. And we love to help you. Um, somewhere there was a post about print and cut issues. Uh, oh, and then there's that terrible tragedy of a day thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, that just gives you a little glimpse of what the community is. It's family, it's crafting, it's love and support and kindness and the best place. Like, you don't want to be anywhere else. It's and amazing. And like Kat mentioned it up here. I wish I could find the exact comment because I love her the verbiage she uses. But um, she basically says you can't, you can't find a place where people – understand your creativity quite like oak and lemon it's just priceless because it's true yeah a lot that's of people true. don't understand what you go through on a daily basis when you create with your cricket they're like oh that's cool but if people know the work that you put into that or a woodworking project or a sewing project we we all know here at the group we want to pat you on the back and say fantastic job or we want to help you to be better it's it's a great community here yeah how often i know a lot of you all don't have friends who are crafty and so if you send them a picture and you're like look what i've made today and they're like oh that's cute you're cool. like no no you don't understand i made the yeah. file from scratch like i learned so much i Look created the cut file i imported it i cut it i painted it i did all these things it was a whole process it took me all day be really excited with me we understand that yes we sure <laughs> do so anyway that's kind of what it is speaking of the links where did you get those brads i got them hobby lobby rachel linked some for you all from amazon and then um, someone asked how big can the joy cut? I forgot the actual comment, but four and a half inches. I think so. It's small. By if you're using a mat by up to eleven and a half inches. If you're not using a mat, then it's four feet. You can cut up to four feet and repeat that for like twenty feet. What what happened to Shirley? Shirley Witt. I missed it. What happened to Shirley? Oh, it's so sad. She has a new grandbaby. Yeah. Um, and she's been sick, so she hasn't been able to go love on it. Oh, no. So, that is the Terrible. worst. It really is. That it just really rips is. your heart out, I know. I'm so sorry, Miss Shirley. No. Is it terrible that sometimes I can't wait to finish something so I can share it with the group? Tell me I'm not the only one. Robin, you're not the only one because there are lots of posts and I love it that are like, look at this. I still have to paint it and put it together and sand <laughs> it and blah, blah, blah. But look what I made. I love it because I identify as well. Yes. And then there's a follow-up later. Of course. We want to follow you on your journey. Yeah. <laughs> Keep us updated. It's I love so it. funny. Thank love you guys. It. I'm on mobile. Sweet. Yeah. It's, it's more difficult to find that for sure. Um, um, has anyone heard of Shauna is in California is out of the hospital and feeling better? I don't know. Um, uh, she did post yesterday that she had quit her job or she was no, she no longer had a job. I'm not sure. But she said it was a good thing. She wasn't saying yeah, like she's, she's excited and that she wanted to know what the live schedule was because her guy, um, she promised her guy she wouldn't even start looking for a job until January. So she's going to be live with us again, which it's been a while and since we've been to able to be live with Shauna. the holidays. That's yes. great. Yeah. Oh, we have a brand new friend. Hi. I've never used a cricket before. <gasps> Hi. Hello. We're so 
so excited you found us. We love people who've never used a Cricut. Do. It's so exciting. We, um, if you've never used a Cricut and you are interested in Cricut, then this is the membership you for you. Found the place. Yeah, we are actually launching a Cricut course on Black Friday, which is free to all members, which yes. will teach you start to finish. How to use your cricket. I the mean, terminology. Out of the box, what comes with it. Yes. Everything. Everything. We you, make projects with you. Yes. Yeah. You'll finish that course and have all the confidence you need to craft with your cricket. Yes. And I mean, you can bang that course out yeah. in a week if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, fantastic time to find us. Welcome. I'm always afraid my stuff looks dumb and then I'm afraid to post it. Renee, post it. Please. You are your worst critic and I know that because it's I'm true. my worst critic. It's like, true. for instance, if these are painted terribly, oh my God. they won't care. Or Becca overthinking the crap out of a color today. I'll pop it on the screen here. I'm going to just go on air. You see the, uh, the bottom part of this light bulb? Becca overthought the color of this for like 10 whole minutes. Okay, that whole ten whole minutes. I so in, in my defense, <laughs> I said, Rachel, I closed my computer. I was like, when you think of a vintage Christmas bulb, what color is the bottom? And she was like, uh. she also was stumped. I was stumped because I think either silver or gold or green, and I couldn't decide. Silver mm -hmm. popped in both of our heads first, but I think that color that she has right now looks the best. well. And then I did this. Hold on, let me find it. <laughs> That's not it. I did this. This is going to be a cut file of some sort. I haven't figured it out yet. So we've done both and some fun color combos and I don't know. So cute. Anyway. Um, goodness, Renee, this is the best group. I'm a lurker in most places, but live share, love sharing with this group. Robin, yes. We love that you're share, not a share, lurker share. We here. love it. We, yeah, we love it. Also, um, Sometimes I'm like, if you guys don't share frequently, for those of you who share frequently and then don't, I'm like, where do they go? Do they hate me? Yeah. Where are, are they, they okay? They? Yeah. We genuinely worry about you guys. Like, what, <laughs> yeah. what happened? I haven't heard from this person in a while. Yeah. 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 And then, like, Chrissy, for instance, sometimes we don't hear from her because she's super crazy busy. And yeah. then she'll pop on the live and I'm like, yeah, yeah you're there here. You yeah. <laughs> We've missed you. Yeah. I mean, um, you guys are truly like family. So de we definitely notice when you're not here. Yes. Not in a judgy way, in a worry way. <laughs> We're like, where are they? Yeah. Anywho, did you have they come up with anything they want to talk about, or are they finished? They want to leave. Nothing good. Nothing. Y'all are boring good. today. Y'all are boring today. It's rainy here. Is it rainy where you are? It's a Cat, crap it's snowy. Day here. Well, you know I love rain. You know I hate rain. I wore my raincoat. I'm gonna make you pick me up again if it's if it snows. You no, know I, I will. You know I hate I hate it. I hate the snow. The reason I don't sell stuff is because I. I think my stuff isn't good enough. Renee, let them decide if it's good enough. I mean, they're not going to tell you, but let them decide. I mean, they probably want. I, I mean, they they'll tell you by not buying it or buying it. Or, yeah, but exactly. but I do want to say, just because someone doesn't buy your stuff doesn't mean it's bad. Because maybe it's not promoted well, or there, maybe the photo is bad. There is, <clears throat> there has to be. Also, I think this is kind of not said enough especially since COVID hit, the craft market selling wise is extremely competitive. Yes. There are literally millions of people selling the exact same thing for very competitive prices. It's, it's not the easiest market to be in right now. And sometimes that shows and we totally understand that. And I don't want that to discourage you. It doesn't mean your products aren't bad. It just means there is so much oversaturation in people doing what they love to do and we know that that's okay well and that's why i would encourage you to find something that not everyone is doing love that yeah just because everyone's doing it doesn't mean you should jump on it find something else on something different yeah something new yeah absolutely paula says i am in paula where are you in um it's so gloomy outside and super cold but i love it been waiting two months for this weather to finally come around me too Micah. me too i would much rather be cold than hot any day Anna is here. I didn't even see her, but everyone's calling. Oh, there she is. She said, I just got here. Hey, Anna. I would like to really know how to emboss on a printing cut. I'm struggling to make a card this way today. What are you doing? Like a printing cut card stock, and then you want to emboss on it? I don't use our embossing tip a lot. I need to do that. Uh, just don't do it. I don't either. Um, Christmas tag. Is there a cut file? 
<clears throat> I feel like there is. I'm searching right now. Hold on. I'm almost positive we have several. We do. There's three different tags in one cut file. Perfect for Christmas. We also have our ear tag. That's a really cute general tag. But yeah, down there at the bottom. Um, yeah, go to the website and just type in tag. tag. It's at the very bottom. There's um there's 12 choices. Oh, yeah. so cute. You're good. So cute. Yeah, you could customize these and make them more Christmassy if you wanted to. Becca, are you not so excited that you've made so many cut files for Oak and Lamb at this point you forgot if you've made them or not? Thrilled. <laughs> it thrills me. <laughs> it thrills me. I should make a Christmassy one, though. Like, these are generic, and that's fine. Oh, wait, I had a... I screenshotted a fun idea that I was going to change up. Here we go. Thank you. Uh, um, Becca, okay. have you gotten started on crocheting that lamy hat? No, because I don't know what size to make it. Oh, I haven't crocheted in forever. It's the, the twin love between the screens. Anna, <laughs> I'd kick you if you were here and your shoes. Wearing Anna shoes. <laughs> Again? You just wore them today so you could ruin them in the rain. Oh. Rachel okay. loves that song. I went to the bathroom. I swear I don't hate it. I just think it's funny. I went to the bathroom, and she was doing that with her sneakers, and I came out. Accidentally, and I, said, I was moving this. I said, it sounds like someone's having basketball practice out yeah. here. <laughs> we do my layup. It's hilarious. <laughs> Has oh. anyone bragged on how wonderful Becca's Illustrator course is if you are looking to level up your crafting? It's amazing, Ariel. <laughs> we promise we're not paying it. her to say that. Not a cent, because we don't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I'm dead. Oh, gosh. Oh, little bit. Love the question. Overall, what is the best Cricut machine to buy? Budget's not a problem, first of all. Congratulations. I, I love that. <laughs> um, second of all, if I were buying a Cricut right now, no budget matters, I'd buy a Cricut Maker 3. I just would. Maker is also really well, or is also really good. Um, but if you want the biggest, the baddest, get the Maker 3. And Miss Anne Marie is our next amazing person who joined Oak and Lamb today. Welcome! My goodness, that's three new friends already today. This is so exciting. If you have just joined and don't know what we're talking about, we are running our kick, kick to the printer. Uh, best deal of the year. It's the best deal you will ever get on an annual membership unless you're a founding flock member. Um, $45 off our annual membership and that makes it super, super stinking affordable. It's like $154 for an entire year of crafting. What's that even break down to? You, I know you're not asking me. It's like less than $12 a month or something or something. Yeah. Especially at the discount. Twelve eighty three. Excuse me. Twelve eighty three per month uh, for crafting with us, yeah. and um, also when it auto renews next year, it's going to be at that price, so it will never go up. So yeah. now is a fantastic time to join. And if, that is not often. That this is the only time of year we do that. Yeah. Every other sale we run the very next year, it the price will go to the original price of the membership, yes. and the coupon code gets you your first year at a discounted rate. This wholesale going on the rest of the year is going to allow you to be able to get this $45 off every single consecutive year that you're with us. And you only have until December 31st to do this. Yep. January 1st rolls around, the sale will no longer be here. It'll and be I mean it. Uh, I mean it. It's not lingering. <laughs> we promise. Um, anyway, join. Use the code JINGLE. If you're a monthly member and want to jump in on that, you can go ahead and do that. We already had a member ask. The best way to do that is just to go purchase the membership and then email me and I will cancel your monthly membership for you. Let me know. Um, look at all of you welcoming our friends. I love this. So Rachel, sweet. cute add-on with the Christmas trees and the thingy. <laughs> Thank you. Thingy I said, do. what would Becca do? Who is Dolly? It's going to be a what would Becca do shirt. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I'm joking. <laughs> if you don't know me, I'm joking. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're welcome, little bit. If you have any other questions about um, cricket or crafting or anything, let me know. I'd, yeah. We I'm in love, a talking mood and would love to answer that. We love answering questions on lives. That's what they're for. That's the only reason we do lives is to help you guys answer questions and chit chat about, you know, lunch and stuff. What That's, is for lunch, Rach? Nothing. You're I, full after breakfast. Yes. Yeah. I'm the hungriest when I wake up and then I'm not cool till dinner. I'm cool. I'm pretty good. What about if we joined back in June? How could I get this better discount when I renew? Email me, Jenna. Jessica, You're asking some me. hard questions, Jessica. Email me. Um, <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that question. We'll see if we can work that out. I, I know I can work it out in one way or another. Um, email me and remind me to look it up for you and figure out the best way to do that. But I want to say, first, to. thanks for joining back in June. Yep. And thanks for wanting another great deal at this great time of year. Thanks. I told you they're boring. Did I look at them? I think basically what... I think basically what I would have to do, we would cancel her membership and then like basically give you an additional discount for what you've already paid for the Correct. year. Correct. I don't know. Some prorating, some stuff. We'll and, have to, yeah. I'll we'll figure it out. Do some math. We'll do it. Yeah. You would have to pay the full year minus. What you know. already, yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um. Do, 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 do. All right, I guess they don't want to talk. Oh, cats. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. <laughs> uh, uh, Cat, the only reason she's in such a good mood is because it's pouring rain and hideous outside. It brings out the best in her, like the Sanderson sister who hates when things are like sunny and glorious. Who is that? Will Winnie? Yeah, Winnie. Winifred. Winnie. Winnie. <laughs> Fallon tells me my hair looks like Winnie. Like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, isn't it cool? <laughs> Anna, <laughs> you think that's a jab, but I don't. We're a team and there's a reason. Yeah. I do the my, math and she makes the cupcakes. My weaknesses, there's a lot of them, are Becca's strengths. <laughs> and that's why we get along. Guys, so last week, I didn't post it. I sent it to Ada. Last week, um. We had a really bad Thursday, really bad Thursday, and I let to go get ice cream. <laughs> she said, Damn. "It's like I'm, I'm out. I'm she going said, to get ice cream. I need some TCBY. Packed it up and headed out. <laughs> so, so I left before Rachel. Um, and when I came in the next day, there was a note on my on my keyboard that just said, "Today's going to be a better day" with a scripture verse encouragement. In the bottom it said, P <laughs> "Banana cold banana pudding sucks." And I was like, "This is." This is a beautiful representation of mine and Rachel's relationship. It's like there to lift each other up and support and encourage and jab. <laughs> I could. It's beautiful. I love it. It, fit, it was too gushy just to write today's going to be a better day in scripture verse. I was like, your face I? is ugly. Then the, <laughs> the first thing that got in my head was, dang it, banana pudding that's in the fridge is just horrible. So I just wrote cold banana pudding sucks. sucks. Just I had to. <laughs> Oh. Oh, I'm telling you, Kat, uh, when I try to tell you all, it's, I mean, I know you believe me. The last nine weeks were very stressful. For somebody who, I'm a type one, you all know this. So I'm a perfectionist. Um, I like for things to be done immediately. I also have this terribly annoying need to fix everything, whether you ask me to fix it or not, I want to fix it. And so if it's something that's mine and I can't fix it, there's literally nothing I can do about it or I've paid someone to do it and expect them to follow through in the way that I would. Um, and it like my head wanted to explode. Sometimes I would sit and like, I was super jittery because there was nothing for me to do. Man, what a terrible moment for me <laughs> of nine weeks. So, yes, I am in a happier mood. Um, and I feel good. I'm feeling good. I'm happy that I can be happier. Things are going yeah. up. Um, do y'all have your Christmas tree up yet? I know you do. I threw mine up in, in one hour between 5 and 6 p.m. during Charlie's nap time because in my head, in my stupid head, I wanted him to just come out of his room after a nap and see the finished tree. So it is the 
most thrown together tree I have ever. Becca, I hope that you don't come to my house. The lights, first of all, are. I have to come. Some of them are like three inches apart, and then some strands are like eight inches apart. Like, I could not get it together. I had two extra light strands that I had used last year on the tree, and I'm like, where did these go? I don't know. Plug the tree in, and I was like, uh, oh. But I had already thrown everything on there. So I'm like, I can't, like, take a. What? You don't plug your lights in and wrap them while I they're start plugged from the top. in. You could still plug them in. How? I start from the top. You, put it at tree. the top and plug them, or plug them in at the top. You could put an extension cord. I, mean, I guess I, sh- I don't have an extension cord. That's another one of my problems. Is Why that do you start at the top? The tree is unwound enough to where there's a whole string of lights that go like from the tree all the way to the outlet because I don't have an extension cord that I thought I had. Pro tip, start at the bottom and plug them in. I can't start at the bottom. Why? Because then I get to the top and I have like six feet of light left that I didn't account for. If I start at the top... Then I can, like, do my math easier at the bottom. Yeah, that worked out really well for you this time. You know, Uh, I just... You're wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. It it doesn't matter. Charlie loved it. Start at the bottom. Where do you all start? (laughs) Oh, no. This is going to be on my next note. Oh, no. I started at the top. And then wound the lights down. Now I can't remember how my mom did it growing up. <sighs> well, I'll just. Ain't it agrees. <sighs> Anna says to hide the extra behind the tree. <laughs> She would do that. Or get, you know, like a Santa hat on the top, which doesn't go with your thing at all, and just shove all the lights in the top of it. That's another problem I'm having. There were several problems. I have a tree topper, but James insisted the tree go at a different spot in the trailer this time. And all trailer ceilings, if you don't know, peak in the middle. And the tree was in the middle of the trailer last year, and this year it's at the very corner next to the wall. Yeah, so So it it, I had to bend the tree to even fit where it's at right now. There's no topper on the tree. I'm gonna have to get a bow and like squish it in the ceiling. I didn't have a tree topper a year before last. I'm gonna have to do it. But I bought one this year that has felt palms all over. I'm really excited about it. Oh, that's cute. Uh, Christina's tree is pre-lit. Kim says start at the bottom. Liz says start at the bottom. Uh, Start at the bottom, McKay. Katrina says start at the top. Paulina says start at the top. They're wrong. I'm just saying, there's a bit of a mixed bag on this when it's not just Rachel's wrong. Oh, I'm there's saying a bit of a mixed I haven't bag. gone to the end of my tree and had eight inches in between it. There was, it's a problem. I need to do some work anyway, on it. Anyway, I, I didn't mean to ask you. Yeah. Did you have green ornaments on your tree that, like, yeah. Not, I loved They're those. Green. I, was I couldn't shocked. find what I w- quote unquote wanted last year. Aqua. Yeah, because yeah. I'm boring and, you know. So I found that really pretty. It was like a minty. It's beautiful. Green. It looks like a color I would choose. And it was gorgeous. I love them. I found them at Walmart. Love them. Mm-hmm. Love them. I love them. I always get plastic ornaments. I'm sorry. I'm not team glass ornaments. I only get plastic. Chris, oh, Christy, yes. Um, she says her tree rotates, so she starts at the bottom. You mean like a normal person? Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you being passive aggressive? Are you being passive aggressive? I don't feel like I'm being passive at all. I mean, I'll, I'll just. <laughs> being passive at all straight up aggressive it's just right in your face <laughs> at least there's a couple people that say they start at the top that's fine second generation of starting at the top katrina i need to ask my mom and starts at the top I'm just saying this is hysterical i love this debate i love it <laughs> i had a pre-lit tree every single time i would get a pre-lit tree it doesn't work the next year and uh, i take yeah, care I of my buy a pre-lit tree do what? I won't buy a pre-lit I tree. Can't, everyone I've bought, I've had to just throw to the road the next year. And I, I store my nice. It's not in like a nasty basement. It's stored nicely. I'm gentle with it, and they just don't work. When is Rachel going to share a photo of her tree? I'd say she's probably not. That's Never really this Rachel's year. style. Unless I somehow get a couple hours to completely take every ornament off the tree and every little sprig off the tree to redo the lights first. Rachel, so. it took you an hour last time. It did. You're correct. You're correct. Uh, the, I want to put mine up this week. I, I, I said all that to say. <laughs> I haven't put mine up yet. And um, I want to, but kind of don't want to go get it all down. Wait. Have you decided against your your original tree plan? Yeah. Okay. Because I want to do it. I, I We were going to go get a live tree because the kids asked to. But I, the problem is that. 
with Wayne's work schedule, he works for FedEx. So starting Thanksgiving Day, um, it's a hell to try to plan anything with yeah. him. Um, I'm not complaining. It's just, it's been the reality for the last 18 years. Um, so sometimes we go that Saturday after Thanksgiving, but that's also when we actually celebrate Thanksgiving with my family and it becomes like, let's go hurry, get the tree, hurry, 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 head home, get back. We can't decorate it. Like it's a whole thing. So I think I'm just going to use my other tree and do it beforehand. I have had a Martha Stewart pre-lit from Home Depot for six years, and it still looks great. That's amazing. Yeah. What's that brand of tree that... Anna, what's the brand of tree that I want? King something? I think anyone who has a pre-lit tree for more than two years is... is um, they're just lucky. They're lucky of a person. King of Christmas.com. Those trees... Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to win the lottery to afford one, but they are gorgeous trees. Oh, my gosh. I Let's want one look. so bad. Let's wait. That's wrong camera. Sorry, guys. There we go. These are seven foot. I, I have to be honest, Becca. That's not a horrible price for a tree you're going to have for like ten years. I particularly love these like wimpy looking wimpy ones. ones. Yeah. Now I couldn't fit all my ornaments on that, so I wouldn't actually go for it. Do you like fatter trees yes. or more pencily fat? Trees? Like I would. I like this one. This is almost too fat. Oh. These trees are incredible. My mom got a flocked tree. Does it she, go everywhere? She adores her flock. She just said it was worth it. It was shed everywhere. She was covered in flock, but she loves it. She says it was worth it. Tribeca spruce. I kind of like this bluish green color. I really love this. Ugh. Oh, man. terrible. Uh, who wants a seven and a half foot pink tree, too? Seven and a half. Dolly feet. Parton? I don't uh, know. Uh, good, good point. Good point, probably. This is what I want. Well, she's beautiful. <laughs> I may have paid $150 for my tree. I'm so cheap when it comes to that. I oh. always buy them right after Christmas. Yeah. Um, For the next year. Not every year. I keep a tree. But if I want to get a tree, I'll always buy it after Christmas when they're having it. I think I got mine for like 60 bucks. It's a pretty good looking tree, too. Uh, can I, I would love to do that. However, it's really hard. You, you've met Beckett. When Beckett gets something in his head, um, that's all you hear about. And so I can't imagine putting a tree up and not having the lights and all of that stuff on it for a couple of days because all I would hear about is when we're decorating the tree. Yeah. There's always a GoFundMe, Becca. <laughs> fund, <laughs> fund Becca's fund my bougie tree. tree. Mm -hmm. Maybe just pay my light bill. I don't know. Just pay, pay my light bill. I mean, oh, it'll even out. It's not that dire. We do have some new members today. That will help out. Three new members, yes. Yeah. You'll help uh, to feed Oak and Lamb for a few weeks. Thank you. Anyway, I'm super excited. This year or this season will be a huge season for onboarding new members. Um, so be ready to welcome lots of amazing new crafters with lots of fantastic ideas. I am so excited to see how much we grow just this holiday season. Uh, it's going to be a great, great holiday season. I'm excited about it. But uh, we will be live over in the private Facebook group tomorrow for member only. We are doing a Polish star ornament. You can tell Becca is... So excited. Well, Rachel's made fun of me for like six weeks over it's it. It's true. It's been sitting on our desk every bit six weeks. Yep. Just sitting there staring at her and me. It's ready for tomorrow. It's ready. It's ready. ready. 10 a.m. Eastern is when we will be going live. I had to move it a little bit because I'm going on a field trip with my kids. Go me. Um, Go me. And then we'll be live again on Thursday here on YouTube. Anna will be with us. And we're going to get, we have one more live we need to schedule for the next week. Um, so we're going to do that. Yeah. Exciting. Have a fantastic Tuesday, everyone. Stay warm, stay dry, stay crafty.